I want to go back to Reham and uh, Reham, the kind of statements we've seen coming in from uh, leaders cutting across party lines on the very issue of the military's interference in the democratic polling process. The argument that also came in from Imran Khan was that uh, the reason why Nawaz Sharif has been so vocal about the military's interference is because the establishment for the first time ever is not supporting him in this election. How valid is the argument that has been made by Imran Khan that the IS and the army are not supporting him in this election, quite contrary to uh, the popular belief, not just in Pakistan, but in the uh, neighborhood as well. Well, the problem with Imran is, and you see, um, I, I have this sort of um, baggage uh, of uh, being personally um, involved with him. And I've uh, just been, people are making fun on social media because he went on camera this morning and stamped in the wrong uh, place on the ballot paper. He actually, uh, maybe it's a Freudian slip, but he voted for Bilal instead of himself. So, um, you know, he forgets what he says and he forgets uh, where he is and what he's meant to do. And he makes these uh, silly mistakes, uh, if you can call it that. Um, it's, it's been a bizarre lifestyle in Bunny Gala. And one of the things which, which I, you know, was continuously uh, pointing out was that you've just said this. So, so you, you can't say something completely contradictory, which was constantly happening. And uh, I mean, one day he says that Nawaz Sharif was a protege of the military. And uh, in one breath, he says that nobody can come into power without the military establishment backing them. He's been saying this for years. He's been on air, on camera, on record saying how the agencies play a dirty game. And so when it when it was fine, when he was not winning, that was the case. In fact, even last uh, uh, elections 2013, I remember him uh, abusing the chief of the army staff for tampering and putting him uh, for putting Nawaz Sharif in power. And uh, now he's he's basically saying that in, in fact, just this morning, I was listening uh, on your program when he when he started off and he, he said uh, that uh, this time we have a chance because the, the he inadvertently pointed out how the playing field, uh, the race had been cleared for him. And, and then in the second breath, he says that the military establishment is not supporting me. So, you know, the contradiction in, in one interview within a span of two minutes is so clear, it's so evident, it's quite sad. So I think he's he, he also understands he's being apologetic about it. Um, I think the military establishment, even if they're not involved, Imran has given everyone this impression, and he's given that impression by uh, calling himself prime minister, by his uh, somebody like Sheikh Rashid offering a prayers uh, and, and even announcing that on Independence Day this year, on the 14th of August, um, they are going to see Imran in the Sherwani and taking oath as, as, as a prime minister. So, you know, nobody's, um, I think he's just deceiving uh, himself all the time. He's not really... Uh, pulling the wool over any anyone else's eyes.